back to the Automate Cornets. My name is Judy and I live in New Hampshire with my husband Joe and our black cat Meryl who is probably going to make an appearance any moment. I am a knit and crochet wear designer. Uh, you can find me on Instagram where I'm most active as the Autumn Acorn and you can also find me here on YouTube. I'm here to talk about a collaboration that I had with Hobby Yarns. Hobby is a, an online yarn store. They are based out of Copenhagen, Denmark and they have a fantastic website. Here's the Hobby website. It's very easy to use. They have a ton of different yarns. Uh, everything you need is right here. Uh, I was telling you about Hobby Plus and you can sign up for $8.99 a month with no commitment and you can see all the benefits you get here. Three free plus patterns per month so that's in addition to all of the free ones that they offer anyway. Double the points on each order, 10% off all regular price items, a weekly scratch card, extra candy and gifts and much much more. So I think that is absolutely worth There's some other things that you get quite a few advantages to be a member but they also just have free patterns here you can see Ooh, look at that pretty card again I like that they have so many nice patterns for free there's 37 pages just here really cute things oh I love this blouse look at this blouse Leva, I love it. Ah, oh, look at this hat, cat house. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. So yeah, all different types of things you can make. And yeah. Here's all the different types of yarn they have. So many. Here's my favorite wool. Oh. There's the one I showed you. Dream color. Ooh, I love that shade of pink right there. I'm so into pink right now. That's really beautiful. They just have such a great selection. They also have knitting needles, crochet hooks, they have accessories. They have a lot. A lot. They have filling. Look at all that. Ceramics, needle gauges, deter wool detergent. They have a clearance section as well, I noticed. Under exciting things. They have books. They have a blog. You name it, they've got it. I am going to talk today about the importance of a gauge swatch. And I know a lot of knitters, including myself, don't always do a gauge swatch when we are starting a project, but I think it's really important. And as a designer, it's something that I have to do because I have to give the gauge numbers to my tech editor so that she can grade these patterns in all the different sizes. So it's really important. But I wanted to touch on just some of the key points and important things to remember when you are uh, making a gauge watch. The first yarn that I want to talk about today is called Tweed Delight. And here it is in this gorgeous color called Red Clay. And that's so pretty. Now red clay is also known as number 14 and this is a worsted weight yarn. It is 85% wool, 5% viscose which is plant, plant fibers and then 10% acrylic. So it is a wool blend and it is in a tweed which I absolutely love and this color is just incredible uh, and I received 10 balls of this to test out. This is a single ply yarn I believe. It, it acts like a single ply. I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure it's a single ply and the first swatch that I made is not what I'd consider a proper swatch. Here it is 
and you can see there is the are these lines down uh, every so many stitches and I did the ribbing at the bottom to see how that would look followed by this texture um, and this is it's a fine swatch but it is a bit too small to really be useful when you do a swatch you really want to make sure it's approximately six to eight inches square so here is a swatch that I did which is just much easier to tell the drape and really how the fabric is going to behave what I have here are four stitches on each side in knit stitch so garter for the edging and then I have six rows of garter stitch again just knit on the bottom and the top so you really want to try to include that in your swatch now I knit this one flat but you can also knit a swatch in the round. Uh, you always want to block your swatches, but don't stretch them when you block them. Uh, for this one, I just kind of reshaped it after it was damp, and then I um, laid it flat to dry. So that worked out really well with this. And then you're going to measure your center stitches. Uh, and don't use a measuring tape because they tend to stretch out and give you inaccurate readings over time. So if you can use a fixed measuring tool like a ruler works really well. It's the number of stitches over four inches or 10 centimeters and the number of rows over that same measurement. Uh, if you find that your gauge doesn't match the designer's gauge, or the gauge you are hoping for and if it's just too small you would simply want to go up a needle size or two and if your uh, if it's too big just use a smaller needle size and that should help you uh, for row gauge it's pretty common to be off so just try if that happens to you and you knit your gauge swatch with a metal needle try to knit it with a wooden needle and vice versa and you might may find that that helps a lot so anyway I learned that I really like the drape and I used a size US 7 needle or 4.5 mil and I really like the material um, it's not see-through it's not too tight it's not too loose and the drape is really nice I had a harder time deciphering the drape because this uh, swatch was too small but what I did learn also was that when it's blocked this stitch definition that I was hoping would show kind of gets lost in the design so I'm not sure if I will end up using that particular stitch pattern uh, but I really think what I'd like to make with this yarn is a cabled sweater of some sort. I think that would be beautiful. Oh, and I should have mentioned that this yarn, if you were to buy it at Hobby, was is $8 a skein. So very reasonable. And you receive uh, 50 grams, and this is 109 yards or 100 meters per skein. Okay, my second yarn that I sampled is a yarn called Unicorn which is a hand dyed fingering weight um, this is a blend of 75% wool and 25% polyamide which is like a nylon so it is a sock yarn and these come in 100 gram skeins with 437 yards or uh, 400 meters skein and I received three of these skeins to review so what I can say is I made a swatch I knit a proper swatch out of it so you could see how beautifully the pattern design of the yarn itself knits up so I feel like this is the type of yarn that you probably wouldn't want to do any kind of fancy stitch work lace or you know texture because the yarn itself is what stands out and I don't think anything else would stand out but again I did 
those four edge stitches on each side and those six rows of garter at the bottom and the top and the rest was all done in stockinette stitch or just the plain knit stitch. This has loads of drape. It is just a lovely, lovely fabric. I'm super happy with this. I believe I used a US 4, which is a 3.5 millimeter needle to knit this. And I'm hoping to make a beautiful shawl with this yarn. I think I have just enough with the three skeins. Maybe I'll have extra, but I'm not sure. But I just think it's so gorgeous. The speckling is beautiful. And I love the, the pops of golden yellow in there because that's just one of my favorites. I was kind of hoping it was a little more pink than lavender, but it is what it is, and I still think it's it's really pretty. So I am excited to design with that one. Uh, one this is the color Giving, which is known also as number two. Um, what can I say about this? It's $23.00. Uh, skein and it's lovely and the last yarn that I received way over here is called dream color and this is a very nice yarn it's 100% wool which I love uh, 100 gram balls 437 yards each or 100 meters uh, I used a, U, a size US 4 needle. Oh, this is the color Nordic Woods, which is also known as color 25. And it's only $7 a skein. So you get a lot of yarn for $7 a skein. And I received five of these skeins. So here is my swatch. And you can see how it transitions, which I really like that. Uh, let's see it go. I believe it started out This way It started out with that gorgeous deep burnt orange and then it transitions into this green eventually Which is really fun uh, Again, this is a very drapey yarn because it is a fingering weight. I'm not sure if I mentioned that but I did a little bit of a texture on this one and I think it shows up pretty well, especially in person. Maybe not as much on screen, but. And for this, I'm hoping to design a shrug. I think this would look, look like such a beautiful shrug to wear out in the woods. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. But so far, I'm really pleased with all of these yarns. Um, they're quality yarns for a discounted price for the most part. I mean, this one is a little pricier, but it is, you know, hand-dyed sock yarn. So that typically is, is about what you pay. When I opened up the package from Hobby and they had these like, um, cherry heart candies that they threw in, there were three of these super cute notebooks. This one has knitting, and then the other one had a, um, what was it? Oh, right here. This little llama guy. So cute. <laughs> and then they even threw in, just for fun, um, a seam ripper, which I really appreciated. And it was just such a lovely gift to open. I've never tried hobby yarn in the past, but I'm really impressed so far with what I've seen. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope that you learned a little bit about swatching. And I mean, it's really important. If you do swatch, you will find the fit of your garment will be so much better than just taking a chance. But, and a lot of people find that if they purl, they're, they purl a lot looser. Their gauge is much looser. So that's another thing to consider when you're knitting your, um, your swatch is, will there be purl stitches involved? So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, how-to and I will talk to you soon. Bye now.